Hi, and welcome back. I'm Jack Ray from Jazz Banjo Academy, and in this lesson today, we're going to look at two ways to play a dominant seven chord on tenor banjo. Again, we're using our standard jazz tuning, and uh, there's a PDF that goes along with this lesson, so make sure to click the, the link in the description box to get your copy. So now we're looking at two ways to play a C7 chord on the tenor banjo. So we can start again down here, bottom of the neck, and that's form 7. Similar to our minor 7 shape, except now we can't bar because we've got our natural third in there, that E on the second string. So we're going open fourth string, open third string, second fret on the second string, first fret on the first string. That. So we've got C, G, E, and B flat. And all we need is our second and first finger here. That. Now if we're going to play form 3, the fingering's a bit different, but again we're just moving that E flat up to an E. So this is our C7 form 3. So we've got our second finger this time on the seventh fret of the bottom string. Next string, first finger on the fifth fret. Pinky on the eighth fret of the second string. And on our top string, we've got our third finger on the seventh fret. That's our E. So we've got G, C, B flat, E. Now, if we wanted to take this C7, the one we Form 7 we play down here with open strings and make that a movable shape. Again, we're just going to shift the whole thing up past the 12th fret. So again, the fingering's a bit different because now we've got to bar our first finger on the bottom two strings again. Then we take our third finger, put it on the 14th fret. It's on the D string. Then on the A string, we've got our second finger on the 13th fret. And we've got C, G, E, C, G, E, and B flat. And so that's a movable shape. So C7, if we wanted to play F7, we've just got to think the seventh of that chord is an E flat, and E flat's here on the top string, so now that's our F7 chord. So those three shapes we've got. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section and I'll get back to you about those things. If you like the PDF that goes along with this lesson, it's got the chord diagrams, tab, and standard notation for these chords, please click the link in the description. And, uh, it, and remember to click subscribe for more Jazz Banjo Academy.